Welcome to Burping It Out Podcast with Anna Regina. I'm Anna Regina, and this is Burping It Out, where we don't say what we think, we burp it out. Hi. You know what? Actually, I've already recorded this episode, but I I absolutely hate how it turned out. I I have not listened to it, but I don't need to. I effed up a lot of the times when talking. I felt like I wasn't close enough to the mic, and so maybe sometimes the audio was really low, and sometimes it was really high. I just, I hate it. There, I mean, I slept seven hours last night, and there's also like a lot of things happening right now in my life, and it's a little bit stressful and a little bit um, shocking, I guess. Yeah, fucking shocking. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, maybe that's why. Anyway, I'm really excited about this week's episode because we're gonna talk about crushes. I feel like I haven't talked about crushes in a long time. Maybe in like the past. I don't know, five episodes or six or seven. I don't know. Um, It's been a long time since I talked about crushes, like, as the main topic for the episode. So I'm really excited about this one. And I got the idea uh, for this episode because uh, a little over a week ago, my crush, let's call him Mark. I've actually already called him Mark on an episode. I did a collab some weeks ago with my friend Arena, um, and I called him Mark. So, yeah. Um, The thing is, Mark... Um, a few days ago, um, he posted a picture on Instagram where he was in a swimsuit and, uh, you know, well, um, he was shirtless, obviously that it, that is, that is what happened. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Before you judge me. Okay. Before you prejudge me one, he had abs and pictorials. Okay. Especially abs one that two. I, I'm not one of those girls that, like, go absolutely crazy about guys being shirtless. Like, I, I, I see a random guy shirtless, and I don't give a fuck. I do not give a single fuck, okay? But then, here's the thing. When I have a crush, and then I see him them shirtless, it's like, oh, they're shirtless. But then, what happened with this guy is that not only did I see him shirtless, but also he had abs, which I had absolutely no idea that he had. I, I had no idea that he had abs. So, I got really shocked, but like in a good way. I was like, oh my god, he has abs! La, 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 la. Like, literally. Well, that was not my reaction, okay? It was actually very silent. I could not speak when I saw that picture. I know it sounds really stupid. It sounds too... It makes me sound a little bit stupid, but I could not speak when I first saw that picture. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Anyway, so basically that's what happened. Like I said, I'm not one of those girls that go like super, super crazy when they see guys, you know, shirtless, whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. And also like, I just said that he had abs, okay? I, I don't have a preference for guys that have abs. I do not give a fuck whether a guy has abs or not. If a guy has abs, great. If they don't have abs... Great. I don't give a fuck. Like, honestly, I'm not going to have a crush on a guy or date a guy because he has, he has abs or not. I do not give a crap about that stuff. But it was, I mean, it was nice to see some abs uh, on, on on him, okay? Like, it was it, it was nice. You know, a little bit of ab never hurt nobody, okay? I, I, I have to admit, I, I got hyped when I saw that. I was like, oh, he has abs. What the fuck? So, anyway. So, yeah, here's the thing. I want to have abs, too. And I've been wanting to have abs for some some years now. I think since I was like 14, I've been wanting to have abs anyway. And I've never really gotten to do that because at first I think I was like, I didn't really know how to get abs. I didn't know that there was a, a specific workout or something. And then after some time, I tried doing a certain workout, but I only did, I only worked out like part of my abs, like not... Like, only, like, the lower part and not really, like, the upper part. And also, you have to do, like, different workouts for, like, different parts of the abs. And I did not know that. And so, and then one day I forgot because I did the abs daily. And so, one day I forgot that I had to do abs, my ab workout. And then, and then ever since, I I forgot every day. And then one day I remembered again. And by one day, I mean, during the quarantine, one day I was like, oh, my God, my ab workout. Where did it go? <laughs> Where are my abs? Like, what the fuck? And so I was like, you know what? I don't got time. I'm going to do my SAT. And then after that, I'm going to worry about my abs, right? 
And then, but I mean, the ab workout, how long does it take? Like 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Everybody has that amount of time. Are you kidding me? But anyway, I was going to do that after the SAT. And then after the SAT, I realized that the floor is hard. And uh, I realized that I wanted to buy uh, like a little rug or a mat or something. I don't know. That you put on the floor to work out. Y you know what I'm talking about? That you do it for yoga and also like for workouts and stuff. Um, yeah, so I bought that one. Okay, so... Before seeing that picture, I was like, okay, next time we go shopping, I'm going to buy that, and then I'm going to start working out right away. And then when I saw that picture, I was like, no, I have to start working out right now. And so coincidentally, I swear to God, con coincidentally, we went shopping. We were going to go shopping the next day, and so I bought that, and so I started doing my ab workout the day after we went shopping. And so... I've been pretty much doing that every day. Obviously, you can't tell any sort of change right now because it's been a few days. But here's the thing. I wanted to start my work ab workout at some point, And the fact that I saw my crush having abs made me want to start working out like right now. It made me go like, okay, let's start right freaking now. And that got me thinking, dude, am I competitive with my crushes? Because my crush has abs right now. Does it make me feel the pressure to get abs as soon as I can, you know? And I also had this other crush uh, some time ago who was really into science and all of that stuff. And that kind of made me go like, oh my God, I, I feel really stupid. I feel like I have to um, maybe be more interested in science or maybe like I need to know more stuff about this or I feel like I'm so uneducated on this and that and I have to know more about it and stuff. And then for some time I was actually thinking about it, like, maybe I'm competitive with my crushes, but I always try to keep that, like, away from my mind. And it was actually something that was always, like, in the back of my head. So I, I kind of avoided to think about that. And then one of these days I was like, maybe I have a problem. Maybe I'm competitive with my crushes and I have no idea. But I, right now I don't think it is that. Because when I admire someone, I admit it, okay? So that crush that was really into science, I admire him. I don't think I've ever admired anyone so much in my life. I don't think I ever have. That's it. Um, and this crush that I have right now, I mainly like him because he has a beautiful face. I swear to God, he looks like he fell from heaven or something. But I also admire the few things that I know about him. I know that he's an athlete. I know that he plays an instrument. I know that he has abs now. And I admire those things about him. He wants to do something. He wants to achieve something. And he does it. And he is also talented and really good at what he does. And I think that that's amazing, you know? Mark, you can get it, okay? Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Um, anyway, so what was I saying? Yeah, I think it's just admiration. I think it's me going like, oh my god, I really like this thing about this guy. Why would I not be like that? I want to be like that. I want to do that too, you know? Here's the thing. When I started shuffling, I... Like, Mark was really in my mind when I started shuffling. I was like, dude, I want to be as good at shuffling as Mark is at the sport that he does. And and I thought about, like, and, and then I thought about it and I was like, wait, did I start shuffling because he does a sport? And then I was like, nah, 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 nah. I mean, I discovered shuffling on TikTok. And since I saw that, I immediately fell in love. I was like, oh my God, I need to know how to do that shit. And, I, and I've been doing it ever since. And honestly... I haven't been thinking about Mark a lot. I think like since May slash June or something, I haven't really been thinking about him. Especially when I discovered Laser Beam and I started watching a lot of his videos, I completely stopped thinking about Mark. I was like, fuck Mark, Laser Beam is bae, okay? Um, but then I saw a picture of Mark showing his abs, whatever the fuck, and I was like, whoa. Mark is still alive and he's still a thing and he's still really good. And just because Laser Beam is amazing doesn't mean Mark isn't, right? And so none of them are like huge crushes because, you know, I think I'm, I've been trying to avoid having huge crushes on people because last time I had a huge crush on a guy, I got depression. So yay, um, basically. But that has nothing to do with what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Um, yeah, so when I started shuffling, I wasn't thinking about Mark that much. Like, at first, yeah, but then after some time, I, I wasn't really thinking about him. I was like, I mean, really, maybe I'm just obsessed. Like, what does shuffling have to do with the sport that he does, right? It Maybe it's it was something more like, okay, I want to, like I said before, I want to be as good as shuffling as he is at this thing, or like, I want to, uh, whatever. Or maybe I wanted to feel 
as talented as, as, as he seems to be, right? Um, so I think it's just that. I don't think it's competitiveness or anything. I, don't, I do not want to be better than them. I do not think I should be better than them. Like, oh my God, he's so good at this thing. No, no, no. I have to beat him and I have to be more successful at what I do than what he did. I don't know. Absolutely not. Or like I have to know more about this thing that he knows about or whatever the fuck. No, I, I think that what, they, what they're doing is amazing and I everybody's doing their thing. They do their thing, I do mine, and that's it. They inspire me to try new things. They inspire me to get better at things. They inspire me to be a better me, whatever. And so we were talking about abs, right? Okay, here's the thing. I want to make something clear. I, well, abs don't make him a better person, okay? I... I I would like him just as much whether he has abs or not. He's literally, like, abs don't matter at all. Like, if a guy doesn't have abs, that's not going to be influential at all in whether I like them or not, okay? I just wanted to put that out there. So, guys, if you're listening, it doesn't matter if you have abs or not. You're not going to like me anyway. Anyway, so, um, what was I talking about? I just got really excited right there. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I'm a masochist. I mean, I don't have a boyfriend. And, like, I want to get a boyfriend, but I like, like, the vibe of, like, not having a boyfriend. Like, I like that type of vibe. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm probably stupid. I don't know. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. And I wanted to clarify as well that I want to get abs, okay? But I do not want to get abs because my crush got abs, like I said before. I, I mean, I wanted to get them before, right? Um, before even knowing this guy, Mark, I was, I was this close to say his name. I was this close. I mean, you can always edit it out, but I'm so stupid that maybe I can hear his name when I'm editing and I'm like, okay, there you go. Whatever the fuck. And, and I won't notice. Um, anyway, what what was I talking about? Oh my God. I want to sneeze. It's not happening. Anyway, whatever. I might sneeze. I I might sneeze later. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh my God. I... I feel like right now I'm sounding like I just had three cups of coffee today and I swear to God I didn't have any coffee today. I think my brain was like, okay, you can't fuck up this time when you're recording, so let's just talk really fast and let's see if you don't fuck up. But I... No, actually, this recording is turning out a lot better than the last one, so I'm happy. Let's let's keep it up. I don't want to do this shit again because I already started this podcast episode like 20 times and then I recorded one full episode and it was shit and now I'm doing this again. What was I saying? Let me drink some more water. I am dry. I've been interrupting myself so much. Um, I was saying I want to get abs, but I do not think that abs are going to make me hotter. I don't think they're going to make me look better. I don't think they're going to make me more likely to get a boyfriend. I don't think that abs make me a better me or whatever the fuck. I just, I don't know. I like how abs look. I see other girls wearing, I don't know, tank tops or whatever the fuck. And, and they have abs. They show them off. And I'm like, oh, that's that's actually cool. Like, a little bit of ab never hurt nobody. I I don't know. I like how it looks and I would like to have it. It's just like a little thing that I want to have or get or whatever. It's no biggie. I don't think it's going to make me hotter or get a boyfriend earlier or whatever. If a guy doesn't like me, it doesn't matter if I have abs or not. They're not going to like me. They're not going to like me. Whatever. So, yeah. And if a guy likes me, they're not going to like me even more because I have abs. Like, my crush right now, okay, he has abs. That doesn't make me like him even more. I like him just the same. It's just that for a few days, I got a little bit hyped because he had abs. I was like, oh, my God, that was a surprise and stuff. But that does not change the way that I see him, I guess. Well, maybe a little bit because, like, he put effort into doing that, right? Because abs don't – you you aren't just born with abs, right? I mean, you're born with them, but, like, you got to work them out. You know what I mean? Why do I have to explain everything that I say? Oh, my God. Anyway. So, that's it. Um, it. Maybe it does change a little bit the way that I see him because, like, he was like, okay, I want to get abs and I'm going to work out and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to commit to the abs uh, until I get abs. So, maybe it changes a little bit of how I think about him, but it's not because of the way he looks with abs. It's what comes, like, with getting abs. It's what comes, like, before or what comes, like, behind getting the abs. Like, behind those abs, there's... Um, a lot of minutes or a lot of hours or whatever of, uh, of working out and, uh, and I guess like eating healthy or whatever. And I admire that about him. He's driven. He wanted to get abs 
and boom, you have abs. That's it. I do believe, here's the thing, I didn't do, I don't, I'm not doing abs for the boys, but I kind of believe that he got the abs for the girls. I don't want to judge him. I'm not judging, actually. I think that if he does that, it's respectable. He could do whatever he wants. If he wanted to get abs for the girls, you know, I have a crush on him and I got really hyped when I saw those abs. So it worked. It worked. But I do believe that he actually thought that he was probably more likely to get a girlfriend like having abs, which is probably true because he's really handsome. It's just that I don't think people I think he's very underrated. I've never heard any girl saying that he's handsome and he's undeniably handsome. I swear to God. Anyway, but yeah, what was my point again? Yeah, he probably believes that he's more likely to get a girlfriend um, with abs. You know, I would ask him out, but I, I already know that he doesn't like me. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what happened. It's actually nothing out of this world. I mean, he, okay, I, I, I know that he doesn't like me, okay? And that's all you need to know. That's it. I just farted. Can you hear that? Anyway, um, I'm going to look at my outline in case, like, I missed something. No, I don't think I have anything more to say. I already explained to you why I want to have abs and what m my vision on me having abs and then my vision on him having abs or whatever. Um, the fact that I admire my crushes and they make me like, uh, let's say like push boundaries. Push boundaries? Is that how you say it? Yeah, push boundaries. <laughs> if I just made that up, I made it up. I don't care. I don't care. That's it. I think that was my point. I think that having abs is great. Not having abs is great. Admiring people is great. Being competitive with people is, I think it's healthy if it's not like taking too far. I mean, if you're too competitive, it's unhealthy. It's super toxic. But I think if you're a little bit competitive, it's not a bad thing. I am absolutely the opposite of competitive. I do not. I have a lot of ego and like I, I hate when people think they're better than me, but I'm not competitive, okay? If I'm not better than someone at doing it some, a certain something... I don't give a fuck. I'm competing with myself, let's say. If I want to be better at something, it's because I want to uh, see how far I can do this or how far I can go or like how good I can be. Not because I want to be better than this person or that person or whatever. So yeah, being competitive is good, but not too much. I don't think it's healthy to be competitive with crushes because like they're supposedly your crush. Like what the fuck? If they're successful and they're good at something and they're talented, you should be happy about it. Not go like, what the fuck? Why are they better than me? Why are they your crush if you want to be better than them, right? I don't know. That's it. You shouldn't be better than your crush. Your crush shouldn't be better than you. You're both equal, okay? Now, whether they like you back or not, that's a different thing. But we're all human. We're all amazing. And uh, and we're all different. Um, But we're all the same, okay? We're different, but we're all as important, okay? And so... That's it. I'm just rambling around. I don't know for how long I've been doing this. I'm, you're probably getting bored. Um, so that was basically my point. I, I think I just explained everything um, the way that I wanted to. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope that it was interesting. I hope it's a concept that you haven't really thought about. Because I, I love things like, I love like new concepts, you know, like questions of like, oh my God, like I've never actually thought about that. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. I don't know. I like those kind of things that make you think, right? Because we're human beings, we actually think sometimes, supposedly. I'm just going to wrap this up. It's been 20 minutes. I think it's been enough. I think I've already wasted your time enough. Um, thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. <coughs> and that was the end of the episode. Hope you liked it. This podcast is also on Twitter and Instagram at burpingitoutpod. At... B-U-R-P-I-N-G-I-T-O-U-T-P-O-D You can also find me on social media at It's Anna Regina at I-T-S-A-N-A-R-E-G-I-N-A -E I hope you have a great day or night and I will see you next time. <coughs>